Fox Gate Developments was building a housing subdivision called Mackenzie Meadows near Caledonia, Ontario. But a group of Six Nations land defenders took over the site just about a year ago, changing the name to 1492 Landback Lane. They say the land is unceded Haudenosaunee territory and set up a permanent camp. Skylar Williams called the company's back down a win. He joins us now. Skylar, thanks so much for joining us. What does this victory mean to the people at the camp? You know what? It's been a long time coming, over a year, almost a year now, and uh, you know to be uh, celebrating these incremental wins when we get a chance to is, you know, is it's vitally important. To, to, I don't care what movement you're, you're doing, but these, you know, like this is certainly just the uh, the foot of the mountain in terms of what the the work that needs to be done. You know, this is a generational struggle. You know, like this is something that my parents fought for and. My, their parents before them and you know uh, like they they did this work so that we could at least have an argument today you know and I, I i hope to at least be able to do that for my children and my grandchildren so that they have there's an argument for them to make when it when, when it is their turn to, to make these similar stands and did you ever imagine that that you would in fact stop this uh, i never had a doubt in my mind so tell us a little bit about how you are celebrating this this win. Say sorry that I say that again. Tell us about how you're celebrating, how how you and, and everybody at the camp is celebrating this. <laughs> well, you know what, um, uh, celebrating that with family and friends on on Saturday, we had an amazing lineup of every who's who of uh, 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 Six Nations artists that came out to sing and. Um, playing music for us at Landback Lane and you know we had every Juno winner from you know Derek Miller and Logan Stotts and Jace Martin, uh, Blaine Bumbry, Burl LaForm, uh, Tom Wilson from Junk House like all of these people came out to, to, to Landback Lane so like uh, several of them have been arrested for coming down last summer to play their music you know and so to, to see them guys all back out see them doing that, that to, to certainly and again like we needed this at this moment you know like with all of the recent tragedy around the residential school stuff it was an amazing gift to be able to have something to celebrate in those moments so what do you think this victory says about how direct action can affect indigenous land rights you know what i hope that these that, that this win can reverberate through uh, certainly in our community to the next generations, but also across all of Turtle Island to say that, you know what, if, if we fight in, in, and if we make a stand and we can do that as, as peacefully as we possibly can um, and stand in the fate, like to put yourself in harm's way to be able to make that stand for the future generations, you know what, we can fight and we can win. And what's... What's the message for other land defenders in Canada? You know what? It takes a bit. It, it, it takes a lot of sacrifice. You know, it, it, it takes it takes a lot of time. And the the I don't think people understand quite uh, how heavy a burden it is to be on the land in the way that we have with you know constantly with with police surrounding us with you know in days when rubber bullets are flying past your ears and pulling taser darts out of people's backs like, like those days are uh, you know all of this spending what 20 million dollars for policing you know 20 to 50 people sat around a fire singing kumbaya is, uh, is an absolutely ridiculous sentiment to me all right Scott that's all the questions we have for you today thanks so much for joining us absolutely thank you for having me